Hey guys, Rob here with 3D Printscape. Uh, Cura 4.9 Beta came out not too long ago, so I wanted to do a video kind of covering some of the new features and some of the bug fixes that they added to it. Um, it's in beta now, so I'm going to show you how to download the beta if that's what you want as well. Uh, but it should be coming out in beta probably in the next two to four weeks. Uh, they typically don't stay in beta too long. Uh, that said, I will be doing a comparison uh, when it comes out of beta to see if anything has changed. And if there were changes, I'll add it to the description below. And if there are enough changes to justify a new video, which I don't think there will be, uh, but I'll create a new video as well. Now, I don't want to get too much into the new features right here. I'll wait till we jump over to the computer. But if you guys have any questions or comments, you can go and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. It'll really help the channel grow. Thanks. All right, guys. So we're here at the computer. I have Cura site up and wanted to talk about the new beta they have out, which is the Cura 4.9 beta. Um, as you can see, it's still under beta on the site, so if you want to download it, you just go here. And it also goes over some of the changes that are in this, which I'm going to cover in a little bit more detail here inside of Cure itself, not just going through here. Uh, but there are some good uh, feature enhancements, mainly around the preview mode, and then some bug fixes. But if you're looking to download it, you just scroll down on this page, go to download beta. It's going to take you to GitHub. And then you'll just scroll down to the bottom here and then choose the version that you're looking for. If you just have Windows, most likely you're going to want the amd64.exe. All right, then once you download that, uh, it's just going to launch you through the standard install process. It's going to be the same as any other version of Cura. You're just going to hit next, 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 pretty much all defaults all the way through. Um, but we can go ahead and walk through that really quick. All right, so I got that downloading. Now that's downloaded, we'll just go ahead and launch it. And then we'll do that by just opening it here. Like I mentioned before, it's pretty much the same as every other install for Cura. You're just going to be selecting next or the default settings all the way through. Uh, but I wanted to show you what it looked like. And then it's going to run through the install really quick and then we'll launch it. Right, so it finished installing. We're just going to hit finish now and it's going to launch. And that's all there is to the install process. And then I'll go ahead and load a uh, STL file and then we'll go ahead and take a look at a couple things here. The first thing here is if you wanted to see some of the features, you can uh, go through this. It kind of talks about them in a little bit of detail, but not too much. Uh, just hit skip here. You can always bring this back up by going up to help and what's new. It brings up that same menu. All right. So now that we're in Cure, uh, nothing really looks different at this point. Uh, but let's go ahead and load an object. I've got just the Benchy here. And let's just do a quick slice. I've got standard quality profiles selected. Uh, I will be updating my profiles and putting new profiles for 4.9 out of my website, which I'll link to in the description below. I'll get those posted as soon as I can. Uh, one thing I wanted to make a note for those of you who are having random issues with uh, temperature towers and things like that not changing at height like it was supposed to and it, the workaround was to change it to layer. I'm still seeing those weird uh, oddities with this version as well. So I don't think they spent too much time around that. I also don't think that a lot of that's on them. It'll be on the creator of the plugin to fix, not necessarily Cura. All right, so first thing I wanted to talk about here was... Uh, the preview mode. This is where they did most of the changes. Uh, by default, they changed the color scheme to line type, and then they added a really cool feature in here, which you can kind of see right here with this white. It's showing you the seam location. Um, so if you scroll down, let me zoom in a little bit better here. You can see these white lines here and here. That's going to be where the seam is. So if we were looking at it from this side, we're going to have random lines here for the seam. Um, so that's going to affect the overall print. Now you can change that since we actually know where it's going to be now. Uh, if we go over to, if we go over to uh, the seam settings here, uh, right now it's set to uh, user specified and um, a smart hiding uh, for the corner preference. If we change this to uh, sharpest corner, for example, and then slice it again, 
you're going to see it's kind of hiding those seams a lot better. Not quite as good, I mean, around some of the words and stuff. Uh, but if we scroll down, we should be able to see a lot of those seams that were on the outside now kind of hiding here on the inside. You can see it's on the front because that's the sharpest corner. So, so you see a little bit right here. Uh, but basically, it gives you the ability to see where the seams are going to be. That way you can make uh, choices based on what you're trying to do uh, by playing with the Z alignment or the corner. Let's just say a uh, hide seam as examples and see what that does. Um, but you have the option now, since you can see, to make adjustments of where the seam is going to be. Uh, so that one's not too bad. Um, it just depends what you're looking for. Obviously, the different models are going to require different settings to get what you're looking for. If we go all the way up, you can see it's doing a better job when you switch this to hide seam of hiding the seam on the inside. And it's a little bit more random on the outside so you don't get uh, a bunch of lines in one spot. But I really like this feature because, like I said, it gives you the ability to visualize uh, what it's doing. And then from there, you can uh, make the decision whether that's going to work for your print or not, and then make changes accordingly. So this is completely random, and I'm not a huge fan of that. I think you're going to have a lot of random spots with the seams, hence the name. Um, but in this type of model, that doesn't really work. Uh, so switching it back to probably sharpest corner and hide seam or smart hiding. Uh, seems to be the best settings for me in most cases. But as you can see here, it's kind of doing its best to hide the seams or put the seams on the inside so that you're not going to see all of them or up in the front where the sharpest corner is. Uh, sometimes shortest might work a little bit better. Uh, use a specified I typically don't use. It requires a lot more tweaking and I don't necessarily think it provides too much more value. So I'm typically using uh, sharpest corner. So that's, as far as a feature standpoint, the biggest feature they added to Cura 4.9. Um, they did fix a couple bugs, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, main ones were around, sometimes uh, Cura was hiding the top or bottom layer if you had uh, concentric selected. So let me go up here and show you. So under the infill pattern, uh, by default it's cubic, but if you had concentric uh, selected, I had random issues. I actually saw this a couple times. It took me a couple minutes to figure out what was actually going on, but uh, I did that and at some of the layer heights, my entire top was cut off and I actually didn't realize it the first time I printed it, so I was trying to figure out what was going on, uh, but uh, they fixed that with this version, which is good. And then they also had a thing where if you had multiple items grouped, uh, let me go back over to prepare, and then one of them was below the build plate, it stopped it from slicing. There were situations where people wanted it to uh, slice wherever they had it, so they fixed that. And then the next biggest thing was more, not really a bug fix, but more of a security fix. That was a pretty bad vulnerability that was in 4.8, and that was... Cura used a library that allowed it to launch other applications. So basically, Cura was able to open other applications, and that's not a good thing. Um, so they patched that in this version uh, just to prevent any potential security issues. But besides that, I mean, everything is pretty much what you would expect from Cura. Uh, this is just the 4.9 beta. I would think typically uh, this is a couple weeks in, so they'll probably have the final release out uh, hopefully in the next month or so. Uh, if they end up delaying it, that's probably because they found a bug or something that they had to fix before it goes live. Obviously, we don't want them to rush that and introduce more bugs, but it seems like they're pretty close. Now, we'll do a feature set comparison between this beta and the final version to see if there's enough of a difference to justify a video to go over what's changed. My guess is there won't be, um, but I do want to actually do that comparison to make sure. And if there is, I will create the video for you guys. And then lastly, I wanted to mention, uh, I had 4.8 installed. So a lot of my settings already carried over, including some of my plugins. Uh, but if you haven't already, uh, make sure you download the settings guide. You can do that by going into marketplace and then you'll see settings guide in here and just download that. Um, 
as I mentioned in other videos that I've done around Cura, it gives you the best overview of what each setting is and does. Uh, this marketplace might take a second to load since it was the first time. So now that it's loaded, you can see I already have the checkbox or check mark here. So it shows it's already installed. But if you don't, just go into it and then just click install here and restart Cura. Uh, but let me open that really quick. It's basically a really good overview of what every setting in here does. Uh, there's no other guide that I've seen that comes close to the level of detail that's covered in this plugin. Uh, so it's great, especially for beginners that are trying to learn what each thing does. If you guys have any questions, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. I'll try to help you out as much as I can. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks. All right, guys, so that covers uh, Cure 4.9, at least the beta. Like I mentioned, if anything changes between the beta and the actual release, I'll cover that in the description below. Or if it's uh, enough to justify a video, I'll create another video on it, but I don't think it will be. Uh, I really like the new preview mode with the uh, with it showing the Z seams. I think that's really going to help a lot of people out, especially if you're trying to print things where you need to really hide those seams. Before being able to actually see what the seams were doing, uh, assumptions were just made, I think, by a lot of people on what some of the settings were doing. Uh, now that it's added to the preview so you can actually see, I think it's really going to help a lot of people out. Uh, but if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks.